section G problem 4 this is a bearing retainer here first we will create this ring of 1 mm thickness then create one sphere using revolve and cut it from inside using revolved cut then we will uh, make two rectangles and cut it along the boundary of this ring to obtain this feature and finally we can use pattern to pattern it around the ring so let's start with defining the global variables go to equations a is 6 b is 29 C is given 9 in the PDF but is actually equal to 8 so please correct that top plane we can create two circles for the ring this is equal to B and this distance is equal to 2 we can go to extrude extrude from the mid plane 1 mm now we can sketch on the front plane for the sphere section view create a center line to obtain the center point of this rectangle we cannot convert it we have to give dimensions this would be equal to b divided by 2 plus 1 now make a circle this is equal to a plus 2 now create a center line for revolve and trim from one side go to revolve it's fine if the sketch is open we can still revolve select the line and done it would look like this now again we can go to front plane now we have to cut from inside so select uh, instead of uh, doing everything again we can just convert the previous sketch then select everything and make for construction so we can obtain this center point directly from there we can create the circle for the cut this would be equal to a now go to revolved cut and done yeah we have to trim from one side so let's do that we all cut now lastly again going to the front plane we have to create two rectangles for that we can again just convert this sketch and make it for construction now take a center line then center rectangle this distance we need to define this would be equal to b by 2 the inner ring then we can constrain this rectangle by dragging this point on the surface and making these two lines tangent then select the rectangle and go to mirror mirror above this line now for the revolve cut we would require a center line over here then go to revolve cut X is selected and this looks good so okay this is how we cut close the section view this is what we require now lastly we have to use circular pattern direction would be of the cylinder select the features 
select uh, revolve and these two cuts and here the number of rings is given equals to C so this is complete let's apply the material it is chrome stainless steel and we can apply the add the mass property sensor the mass is 3.28 let's check 3.28 so this is correct then for the part B this is 7.5 this is 38 this is given 10 in the PDF but is actually 11 so let's check the mass 4.94 and 4.94 and lastly for part C this is 4.5 this is 26 and this is 12 3.42 let's check 3.42 so all the answers are correct next part in the next video thank you